I've been receiving comments of people passively aggressively basically saying that I'm a horrible father and I'm being selfish just because I'm making YouTube videos and I'm working on music and obviously I think that they're wrong and I'm going to explain why and the things that I do for my son and a whole bunch of other things and how I'm trying to be the best father I can but also I can't fully blame them because the first video I made like this a vlog video it's called I'm a horrible person I basically in that video talked about one or two two big reasons that or ways that I know I could be a better father and and things that I regret or felt bad about especially in that moment uh, and in that video basically the one main reason was financially I knew and it was the past year I I spent money on weed and nicotine and over that past year, if I wouldn't have spent any of that money on weed and nicotine, I would have more money to fix my car. And once I fix my car, uh, well, also more money to moving out of my parents' house. But once I fix my car, then I have the potential to go s to see my son more outside of custody. Um, I obviously have have to talk to his mother and most days won't work but it was, it was just that potential to be there extra to be there more outside of the custody that I felt bad about because I want to be in my son's life as much as possible um, and that was the main reason inside that video as to why I felt bad is just financially I knew I, I could have done better and that's also why I, I inside that video is my first day trying to quit nicotine and weed I, I made it like a month I I wasn't fully successful uh, and that was the second time of me trying to quit nicotine and weed this year because I just know that's that's one way that I know I can do better but that's not necessarily what in fact that's not what any of these people are talking about they're they're talking about me working on my music and me making videos is selfish and it's is making me a, a bad father uh, they're they're saying things like uh, When's the last time your son said you made his day or did did he get any Christmas presents? Da, 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 da. Like all these things. Like I am there for my son. I support my son. I pay child support. I Every single time I have him for custody, I, my focus is completely on him. The only time I'm working on music and I have him is if he's asleep. And, you know, on holidays, I, I have him for weeks at a time. And I strive to be the best father I can be. I love my son very much and at the same time i i have more than enough time to work on music and my youtube channel and uh my business and bettering myself and another thing i talked about inside that video i'm a horrible person is how i quit my day job uh with these financial problems which has not always been the best choice uh but i want to clarify i've i've done that before multiple times but every single time i do it i usually work a day job for a year and then i quit my day job for two months and then i just grind and i grind and every single time my business and everything goes a little bit further and i still that's the, that's one thing i whenever I, I think about it, I still feel like it's worth it. Because even if I stayed at the day job, the money I made would not be far off. Because I was still making money from whenever I was grinding on my music, writing songs for people. I even got to street perform a little bit this last time. And it wasn't enough. But I know in the long term, this YouTube channel, my music, the long term goal of this business is going to be much better for me and my son than any other day job. Uh, I'm going to make more money by doing this. And it's something I love that I, I believe in, is it's helping people, helping the world, helping inspire, inspiring empathy for animals. And yeah, so it, I understand and definitely will acknowledge that I should have, kept a day job or kept some form of m making money um, and grinded that hard on my music. Um, but it didn't set me back enough 
to really feel bad about it. And honestly, in the long run, every single time I quit my day job for two months, I, I feel like it's really helping out because I'm putting in all these extra hours. And whenever I quit my day job, it gives me more motivation because it's like, oh, now I really have to work hard on this YouTube thing and really figure it out because uh, I don't want to go back to a day job and I need to make money for all these bills. And every single time I had to go back to a day job and I did, I always do. And it always works out. I'm always caught up on bills and then eventually I, I feel like I have another idea or thing that's worth working on for me to quit my day job and put all my time towards doing it. But that might be something that I need to really evaluate and focus on. And next time I think that I can quit my day job, maybe just reduce the hours and and then grind on the music too, or find find another day job, or just find a way to work on the music extra at like, stay up till 3 a.m. I don't know. Uh, there might, there's probably ways for me to go about that better whenever I feel like I can put in more time on my business and it will help me out financially and just generally in the long run more than a day job. But yeah, I don't think I'm a horrible person for or a selfish person and bad father. I'm there for my son. I'm working very hard to be there more for my son. And just because I'm working on music and YouTube, it, it, it doesn't mean that I don't love my son. And it doesn't take away the time that I have with my son. Um, and yeah, I'd just like to say I'm probably going to stop replying to comments of people barging and saying things basically saying that I'm selfish and being horrible and they're talking about my son because it it offends me it gets me stirred up I don't think it's going to help me at all you telling me these things um it 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 makes me upset and I don't feel like I should have to read that and feel like I'm a horrible father just because I'm working hard on my dreams at the same time uh and I don't necessarily want to keep talking about my son and bringing him up uh, so I I think I'd like to just stop talking about my son just for his privacy and for my sanity. Um, but just know I love him. I'm going to try everything I can to be the best father for him. And nothing's going to get in the way of that. Not my music. Nothing. But I, I got a dream. And I'm working hard to do that too. It'll come second. But I'm going to get it done. Thanks for watching. Leave a comment down below. For the animals! Woo!